guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Fat Shark FPV system on a Blade 350QX2. So you're going to have all your different circuit boards and parts. Basically what you want to do, you want to attach adhesive back velcro to each, uh, the smoothest side of each um, part and then cut out the size like similar and put it where you want on the quad so what I do with mine is I have the transmitter here and then I have the uh, the power transmitter there I did wrap uh, the cables around a couple of times just so that it's not all loose kind of and uh, there you go and I use a battery you can hook it up to the main battery inside the 3000 milliamp one but there's not really much room and I thought it'd just be a bit more it'd be a lot more easy to set up quickly uh, to have an extra battery on the bottom so stick one here and then that just plugs into there and uh, to attach the camera now it's not a very wide angle lens so you need to position it wisely you can what I did I got I sort of cut out a foam brick put uh, the right size for the camera to sort of slot through and then that goes into the GoPro frame that comes with it for the GoPro so you can have it just like that but what I usually do I usually just use a GoPro with um, one of the FPV cables so I just cut a little bit out here of the copper shielding to plug that in and then that just plugs in to the transmitter and you put it in. Um, I got this cable from First Person View UK. It did just break before I filmed this video which is really annoying so I might just order a new one or turn it somehow. Um, but I'd really recommend using a GoPro cable instead because they're way better and you get an SD. Um, so once you've got all this on board you don't really need to worry because it's really strong velcro and we're just gonna try and uh, power it up and so I've slotted the camera into the foam block and uh, just wrapped the cable around a couple of times I recommend zip tying it otherwise it could flap about and then it just leads into here and it's plugged in to transmit it there so it's wrapped around there and uh, the power lead is also wrapped around once or twice around the leg um, and then this spare battery cable here I'll probably just feed this through here and then that's all nice and solid that's what it should look like in the end have a battery there transmitter you want the you want the antenna to be vertical to get the best connection and uh, yeah so then when you hook your goggles up to power you should get an image got an image there you go you can see light so yeah um, thanks for watching if you want a uh, if you want a review on this drone please comment because I'm not sure whether to or not um, otherwise please like subscribe and favorite thanks